If you know me, you know that I'm a one type of opening person. I play the same openings my whole life. But I don't always want to recommend the same openings to you, which is why I'm doing a little series on which chess openings are the best ones for beginners. In this video, I'm going to be trying out some new different openings that I've never played before and leaving a score after I play the opening so that hopefully after this series, we have a full list of which openings are the best ones if you don't know any previous theory. Hope you enjoy this video and if you do, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe subscribe thank you chat what should i play now i'm gonna play the scandy let's go ahead and play the scandinavian here i'm gonna play the scandinavian everybody okay i'm gonna go back queen d8 i've never played the scandinavian before let's do it again let's see i'm gonna go knight f6 i guess we kind of want to stop this prediction anna's gonna hate it i don't think we're gonna hate it i mean at least here it's a little bit like we can just get our pieces out and stuff i don't like this okay we're gonna go for e6 and then we're gonna get our piece out um, I'm gonna go c5. I feel like this could be pretty good to get our piece out. I think that the Scandinavia is great for beginners slash intermediate. I think so. I don't really want to exchange. I want to go queen here. And then we're gonna castle and then place a rook on d8. So, let's see. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go knight c6. Get, get this one out. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go bishop b6. Awesome. And then we're gonna castle. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and castle and then place a rook on d8. That's the plan. So we're gonna go rook d8 now immediately. I'm kind of liking this though. I kind of like this. Exactly, people! If you can't sub on Twitch, you can always sub on YouTube. I mean, there's always... <laughs> there's always a way. There's always a way. I think we're doing good. Look at this move. Cannot take because of this. We're, you know, we're not caring about this bishop on b6. So now we could go bishop here. And then if takes, we could actually like maybe take there. Or we could just go for like taking this one and then like going. I think I'm going to go for taking here and then we're going to go for a bishop here. I think we're going to do this. So I think we're winning. Almost winning something. I think that that's the only move. I think we're doing good here. So now I'm going to take this one. If the knight moves, we can take on b5 pretty much. That's why I like this candy. I think I'm going to give this candy a, a high rating no matter what happens in the game. High rating for this opening. I love it. I love it. That's all I have to say about that. We're going to take this piece now. Good stuff. Now we got something like this here. Scandy is great, everybody. Going to take this one as well. We're going to take a bit of everything. I'm going to bring the rook in here now. Rook lift, everybody. Rook lift. So here we could, here we could actually take take. We could take take, which we kind of want to do because we're down material. We could also go bishop check. I want to see where this king goes. I think bishop here might be good. And then we could go rook g5. And I think that's a checkmate. Look at that. GG, Valerio. GG. And now we just get, we're just able to get a rook uh, up here and checkmate. I think that the Scandi, I think the Scandi is pretty good though. I like it. I'm going to give the Scandi a solid seven and a half out of eight out of 10. And I'm not giving it an eight just like the birds, simply because I think that the birds is easier to like not mess up. I feel like the Scandi could be kind of easy to mess up if something happens. Okay, let's go for the Dutch, everybody! Going for the Dutch! I'm going for the Dutch. I haven't played this in the past. Okay, I'm gonna go e6 and then go bishop here. Let's do it! Let's try it out. Bishop e7 and then we'll castle. Kinda wanna go b6. I'm gonna go b6, bishop b7 here. I don't know what line this is. I don't know anything about the Dutch. I'm just playing a random line. I'm just playing what I think might be good. I don't wanna go d5 because that might give this square make this square be good for white so i'm just gonna go here and then go knight d7 and we got a pretty good bishop here maybe we'll be able to go c5 at some point so i think we might be able to go c5 have you ever played against the against the magnet i've played against him in a simul i have i think this is looking good look at this bishop there's anything better in that this bishop here i don't know what what it is <laughs> i have no idea whatsoever what might be better but i'm loving it i think that this is pretty classical dutch right yeah so now we got a knight b5 going on here and the idea is to go knight d6. So I'm just going to go ahead and place a knight over here just to prevent this move from happening. Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and kick this knight out because this knight is starting to get a little bit annoying. 
So, um, okay, let's see. Let's see. We're gonna go ahead and bring a second knight up. Awesome. Good stuff. Good stuff. We're gonna go queen c7. Stay happy on this diagonal here. I kind of like this. I mean, it's not, there's not really a lot happening, but I think it's pretty solid. Pretty solid stuff here. I kind of want to go g5, g4, but I realize that might not be the way of doing this. I'm gonna go queen. Ah, uh, queen here. There might be this. Eh, probably should have gone rook d8 instead. I think this was a mistake by me. Oh, well. That's how it is. Okay. Can we go knight here, everybody? Let's try it out. Knight there, we're threatening to take. And if takes, we have the checkmate. And if the knight moves, we have the checkmate. Those are the issues of pushing G3. I think we are winning, everybody. I think we have some strong attack. Look at this bishop on B7 being an absolute monster. If knight there, then we're gonna have check, and then we're gonna have, like, some other cool stuff. Look at the queen bishop battery. Exactly. Look at the queen bishop ba uh, battery. So, rook here, I guess it's just to defend over here. We could take this one. Takes, takes, takes. It's not gonna do too much, though. I'm gonna go ahead and go rook d8, just that if takes. We have some cool stuff going on here. Um, takes. I'm gonna take with the pawn. I'm gonna take with the pawn to see, to, to get, probably get a piece. I was about to get checkmated. Okay, we're about to get checkmated on 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 G7. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and take this one. Awesome. Okay, we're getting more pieces. Gonna take this one now with check. Awesome. And we get a checkmate. GG, Gordon. So what did I think about the opening? I think we had a pretty classical classical uh classical dutch here to be honest i think we got a pretty classical dutch i would say that i kind of like this um i think this is pretty nice with this bishop and it was a really nice and solid i mean it's 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 not that dynamic but you're just kind of playing with these type of ideas and i got a really nice knight here so i'm not sure if this is how it always is played but i did actually really like this I think this is good. I'm gonna give the Dutch a solid eight and a half. This is my favorite one. I think that the Dutch is good as a beginner. I think so. This list is a little result oriented. I'm not saying this is the ultimate, you know, the list that every single person on earth should follow. I'm just saying that this is my list. <laughs> and if it is a bit result oriented, well then so be it, you know? Okay, I'm gonna play the English opening. Let's go ahead and play the English opening. I wanna do that. We're gonna play the English opening here. Let's go ahead and do it. I'm gonna try it out. I wanted to do it before. We're gonna do it now. So I think it's knight of three as well. And then we're just gonna go g3 and go for all this type of stuff here. So we're gonna go g3, bishop g2. We're gonna go ahead and do like this. They're playing a king's Indian against me though. They are playing a king's Indian against me. That was not my plan. Okay, let's see. Um, So what do you do here now then? I guess you kind of go for some e4. This opening is also pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. Let's see, so I guess I'll just go for all of these stuff here. I guess we'll just push the whole center. It's become a Catalan almost, almost, almost. I mean, with the bishop here, kind of similar, but also kind of, kind of different, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go up here. So knight is going up. Takes, takes. I think we're just gonna castle. I think we're just gonna castle. Is this kind of like a fianchetto version of the king's Indian? I think so far, Eastern. I think that's what this turned out to be. I, this is not the English opening I was kind of, you know, thinking of. But I think that we it kind of turned out to become something else. Oh, no, did I just blunder upon? Okay, I... Uh, oh, they didn't take it. Okay, they should have taken here. Hello, Stuniak. Nice to see you here. This is a pure Fianchetto King's Indian. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this. I'm not loving this. I think I prefer the uh, my my normal King's Indian. To be honest, I think I prefer my my normal my normal King's Indian. So yeah, so let's see. So if C6, I think we're just gonna take, and I'm gonna place my rook on D1. The bishop seems blocked by its own pawn. What's the point if not open? Well, um. Yeah, I think that the point is to go f4 at some point. I'm gonna go bishop here now. I think the point of having the bishop here is to go f4 and then kind of go a bit, you know, crazy on this side. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and go. We want to defend this pawn, I believe. I'm gonna go b3. Awesome. Oh, his bishop. Oh, this bishop here. Yeah, so I think that bishop g4, that's what you want to do. So that was a good move by him. But after h3, you should just have taken this. 
This doesn't count as you keep either the E or D pun. I'm not sure this counts as an, as an England, as, as you know, a, a, an English opening. I'm gonna be completely honest. I'm not sure it counts like that, but that's okay. Um, your favorite openings when they play bad work, you know, you see, that's the spirit of a true chess player. You know, you become a true chess player when you feel that way. Now, could I take there? Yes, I could. Why did I not take there? Because I played this very fast. Okay, now we can go ahead and take this one. Um, now I think we can go ahead and take this one. I should have taken immediately yeah the night was just hanging don't even ask me what i did there don't even ask me the night was hanging yes it was okay but this one is going to be hanging this is still good uh i just i just had a mistake took this so now i'm pretty sure we're is that's a queen okay that's a queen that's the queen that's the queen okay gg damon gg i was i was almost about to miss that but your least favorite opening is when the opponent play makes him that stops you from having the opening exactly 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 i agree <laughs> that's but then you know then that's why you just gotta you know you just gotta do a comeback and you know you should always you know what it should be you should always 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 just be the one that like destroys your opponent's possibilities of playing their opening so if you want to play an opening and then they counter it then you can have a counter to a counter do you know what i mean so it'll be like a counter counter and if that's not amazing i don't know what it is i think that's great that's like the best thing i think that's like the best thing when you just know enough openings to counter your opponent's counter of your own opponent op opening <laughs> i think that was kind of messy oh well okay so counter counter that's what we're gonna do i'm gonna counter your counter counter well i'm gonna counter your counter of my counter counter still man that's what i'm gonna do <laughs> um the next one i believe is i don't know what i should give to this fianchetto king sindian i'm i think i'm just gonna give it a, a, a four i think the fianchetto king sindian was pretty pretty boring and i just didn't see a point of like destroying our bishop i don't know it's probably a great opening but if you don't know how to play it four out of ten big numbers i just didn't like it i mean just look at this bishop it was just not having a good time um it was just not having a good time did someone count how many times anna just said counter no look at this people you could either have like the bishop over here doing some cool stuff or here or you could have the bishop here and i don't know how i feel about that ah four out of ten everybody that's what we're gonna do let's see okay we got e4 everybody what do we go against e4 what do we do everybody let's see um what do we do against e4 okay let's just go for e5 let's go for e5 <laughs> chat <laughs> Read chat, everybody. Read chat. Okay, so how do we go for the Stafford? Um, how do we go for the Stafford? <laughs> so knight of six, is that what you do? Um, I think it's knight of six. No, is it knight here? What is a knight of six now? Knight of six, okay. Oh man, that's knight c6. I don't even know what knight of six is anymore. Okay, actually, can we just play this so that it becomes a Stafford anyway? Can we just like play this so that it becomes the Stafford? Can we just like like fix this so that it becomes a Stafford? What? Oh, don't take play knight f6. Okay, now it becomes the Stafford. Okay, people, so you should first go knight c6 and then after it takes you should go knight f6. Okay, here we go. Okay, there we go. Now we play knight f6. Okay, awesome. Now we got the Stafford here. Now I got the Stafford. Okay, there we go, people. Obviously, in a position like this, you should take it. But, you know, here here we go. Here we go. Oh, what should you take with? I would take with this one. I would take with this one to be able to push, get the bishop out here. I, I'm not sure if this is fine. But I'm going to do it. Let's see. Bishop e7, bishop. I'm going to go bishop e7, I think. Let's see. D4. Okay, we're going to castle. Oh, it's bishop c5. This is a free pawn. Okay, all right. I can't say a lot about the Stafford. I'm still trying to master this opening. <laughs> I need a Stafford lesson with Eric Rosen. Yes, I do. You want to attack? Otherwise, you're just a pawn now with no compensation whatsoever. Yeah, where's my compensation? <laughs> I thought this is about compensation, but I don't see the compensation. I think that I just blundered a piece, everybody. 
Let's go ahead and go F5. Learn or master. Yeah, bishop C5 seemed to have been the move before. Anyways, I'm going to go for the rook lift again. I'm going to go for the rook lift. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to go for rook F6 rook here. This is the most big Stafford in existence. I have no idea what this Stafford is, people. I don't think Eric Rosen is proud. Since you don't play best line, there's no compensation. I've realized there's no compensation at all. Okay. Um. Let me just go ahead and go here. This is actually horrible. <laughs> this is a Stafford variation Kramlings Gambit. I don't think this is a good one, though. Anyways, we're getting, we're going on a rook lift. We're going on a, on a, on a rook lift. So this gets a low rating on the opening list. Well, Tomato, we just haven't mastered it yet. I think we're gonna need one more game to master this. Okay, let me go ahead and go. If queen here, I think there's going to be this, which I don't really like. I think that I'm just gonna go rook here so that there's no rookie one. I like that. Okay, so the king is going to h1 to avoid any stuff like this. If this here, then this. I think that we're just gonna go ahead and place the rook here. Let's see, so knight here, I kind of want to do something like this. Okay, I'm gonna go queen f7, queen here. That's gonna be my next one. So takes there. We're just gonna take back with the pawn, I think. And then I wanna activate my queen over here. That's gonna be the plan. You should become a TV weather reporter. Hello, everybody. Welcome to this beautiful Sunday morning. We are here with starting off the day with some clouds. But we know that the clouds will, will probably be soon. Now, let's go ahead and check out the map. So in the map, it says that the clouds will go away in... Uh, <laughs> few seconds oh okay i am saying okay so <laughs> wait let me just do it again i feel like that was not good hello everybody and welcome to world news of anna kramling today we're gonna be checking out the weather for this week we are placed right now in stockholm but we're gonna check out how it's going to be for the whole of sweden and you know let's just go ahead and check out the map here from the northern Sweden. you can see that it's been snowing for a very long time with some you know, very cold temperatures. And in fact, it's been some freezing temperatures. We're afraid that there's gonna be some snow sometime soon, but we haven't seen that yet. And our predictions say that there's probably not gonna be any snow this coming week, but we live in Sweden, who knows what's gonna happen. Okay, let me go ahead and push here. <laughs> so what do you think, people? <laughs> I think that we should stick to chess. I think so too. <gasps> I think so too. Let's see, I'm gonna go queen to six, putting some pressure in this one. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, let's go crazy. You think there's work to be done? Okay, <laughs> let's just go ahead and go here. Oh, wait, am I a pawn down? Since when am I a pawn down? I didn't realize that was a pawn down. That is like really not good. Uh, I think g4 would have been good. Okay, mm I'm probably gonna have to do something like this. But now this? I mean, this is? I'm um, one tempo away! If my king was here, I'd actually be winning! I'm just one. I'm just literally playing a gambit and just trade down all the pieces. I hate gambits. Ah, uh, GG action. I forgot. Okay, apparently in the Stafford gambit, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. <laughs> apparently in the Stafford gambit, you should not be exchanging everything. I guess. I guess you should not be exchanging everything. Okay, there we learned something, Eric Rosen. I'm not gonna, you know, disappoint you with this gambit anymore. I will not exchange all my pieces after giving away a pawn in the opening. That's just not gonna happen. Yep, this is result oriented. <laughs> no, I mean, I think that there is some good. I'm gonna give the Stafford gambit a solid five out of ten. 5 out of 10, simply because if, as a beginner, it might be difficult to like understand how to get compensation. I think that it's, uh, I, I, I think that, yeah, as a beginner, you kind of like want to exchange a lot of stuff sometimes. So it might be difficult to know like what to play and how to get compensation. So I'm just, I'm going to give it a lower rating because of that. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a big thumbs up and also to subscribe. If you ever want to catch me live, go ahead and go to twitch.tv slash Hope to see you there.